Ah, uh, another week, another wild phone with a ton of RAM. Last week, we talked about the OnePlus 60 McLaren edition, which packed 10 gigs of RAM in addition to some race car looks. Today, we have Lenovo's Z5 Pro GT, which squeezes up to 12 whole gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage into a sliding all-screen body. It's also the second phone so far that's been confirmed to be using Qualcomm's just announced Snapdragon 855 chipset, though the Z5 Pro GT won't have a 5G radio. The new Lenovo phone looks almost identical to the Z5 Pro, which is a notch-free all-screen phone that slides down when you want to use the 16 megapixel selfie camera. But the Pro GT has red accents throughout, like in the frame around the screen and rims around the camera. Coincidentally enough, like the OnePlus 60 McLaren edition, the Z5 Pro GT also has a carbon fiber pattern under its glass backside. Aside from the red pops of color, different processor and memory, the two Z5 Pros are basically the same. They have 6.39 inch 2340x1080 AMOLED displays, 16 megapixel and 24 megapixel dual rear cameras, as well as an 8 megapixel infrared camera up front. Both devices come with an in-screen fingerprint scanner, a 3350 mAh battery, and a USB-C port. Oh, and this will upset some of you. There's no headphone jack. Because the earpiece is placed between the front cameras, this means you'll have to slide the Z5 Pro GT screen down when you want to make a call, which is kind of awkward. Or maybe you'll resort to sticking your headphones in whenever you want to talk on the phone. You'll have to wait a while to get your hands on the Z5 Pro GT though. It won't be available for pre-order until January 15th, ahead of its official launch on the 24th that month. Plus, it's not going to be available in the US and doesn't support the LTE bands we use here. Hey, but if you know someone who'd really like this RAM and ROM heavy phone, it'll cost about 43.98 yuan or about $640 for the 12 gig RAMs and 512 gigs ROM configuration. The base model is a much more affordable 2698 yuan or about $390, and for that, you'll get a still generous 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. The Lenovo Z5 Pro GT has a ton of compelling features, but it relies on an unproven design. I am not sure that people would like that sliding form even if it facilitates a notch-free all-screen. Still, that much RAM and a Snapdragon 855? That's lots of muscle in a relatively affordable phone, so it's worth taking at least a closer look, assuming you don't live in the US. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.